Hey everybody, welcome to Brickball. My name is Jack and today is another LEGO Weekly News update and this episode is coming out April 2nd, so I'm going to include all of the April Fool's jokes in this episode as well, all of those fake articles that came out, and uh, you can guess which ones are the real ones and which ones are the fake ones. Obviously, some are gonna be a little bit easier to spot than others, but in the video description below, when I leave all the links for everything that we talk about, you can check which ones are the real ones and which ones are the fake ones. But anyways, let's move on to our lead story and that is the Disney minifigure images have now been officially revealed. I really like that these photos were taken at Disneyland, and overall these figures look really, really good. Just like minifigs for all of the collectible series, a lot of time and effort was put into the design for these minifigs. There are definitely some characters that I like more than others here, but on the whole I'm very happy with these guys, and something tells me this is going to inspire a few more Kingdom Hearts custom creations. We've also had a slight development for the sets in Star Wars Rogue One, no pictures unfortunately. Technically this is a rumor, but considered to be a pretty credible one, this information comes from Promo Bricks, and the price listing for the Star Wars sets have now been revealed. The buildable figures are all at $25, and the cheapest set is set at $30, and the most expensive at $90. And I guess the only thing you can really glean from this is that none of the sets are going to be too small, I think, but none of them are going to be very, very big. And here's the last reveal. It's kind of a small one. There is another promo build for Star Wars May the 4th, and it is this all-white ghost X-Wing. A bit simple for a micro build, and you can only get this with a purchase of a minimum of $199. So that's generally it in terms of reveals, but let's talk about everything that became available this week. So let's start with all of this stuff first. All six of the Angry Birds movie sets are now available. The Lego Ideas Maze set is now available. And with a purchase of $75 or more, you can get the classic TV series Mr. Freeze in the poly bag. But that's not all of it by a long shot. The LEGO Jurassic World mobile app is now available. Two of the LEGO Avengers video game DLC packs are available. That is Captain Marvel and the Masters of Evil. Also, the Scooby-Doo Haunted Hollywood DVD is available, and it comes with an exclusive Scooby-Doo minifig. And this one here isn't ready to buy, but it is available for pre-order, and that is the Ninjago Character Encyclopedia. And this doubles as a reveal because it does come with an exclusive J minifig. And that's a lot of information all at once. Remember, there are links in the description below. But moving on to LEGO Movie News, there's a lot of new stuff going on. Thebrickset.com has an exclusive article, and he talks about three new LEGO Movie reveals. Due to so much positive feedback from the current LEGO Movie Productions, there have been announcements for three new LEGO movies. This includes movies for LEGO Deadpool, LEGO Gladiator, and LEGO Duplo. A little bit for everybody, I suppose. Alright, let's move on to LEGO Ideas now. If you don't know what LEGO Ideas is, it's the website in which you can submit your own LEGO creation in hopes to having it become an official LEGO set. Now this week there were no sets that got 10,000 votes and have been put into the review stage yet, but there has been an article that's talking about revisiting old sets that have been reviewed already. Once a set gets to the review stage, there are a lot of things that can still knock it out. In fact, most of the sets that do get 10,000 votes and put into the review stage still end up not getting accepted. But for many of the LEGO sets that didn't pass the review stage, they were actually quite close to becoming official LEGO. And because there are enough of these nearly made it sets from previous review rounds, LEGO has decided to give them a second chance. So far, six projects have been set up in a bracket style vote system where they are pitted against each other and people vote on their favorite. And the one set that beats out the five others, I believe will once again get put back into the review process. If I'm interpreting the information of this article correctly, that means the winner of this second round of voting here will then be given equal chances as all of the other recent winners of LEGO Ideas. So it's possible for the winner of this second round to still not actually get their idea accepted. Anyways, if there's a project here that you really, really want to see win, you can always go vote for it, and it might just make it on its second time around. A couple other pieces of information before we get to our custom creation segment, and that first one is that LEGO stores are now accepting PayPal. For those that prefer to use PayPal accounts in these situations, LEGO has made themselves more accessible. And here's a strange bit of news. The German national football team has a minifigure series based on the players. That bit of news isn't strange. We actually knew that information before. But what's new is that the reveal for the characters is going to be done via live streaming. I don't know if LEGO has ever done this before for a reveal, but if you are a diehard football fan, then you can get that information live on April 12th. And this last bit of news here, which I actually think is pretty important, is that there is a guide to BrickLink now available. The BrickLink website a while ago said that they were going to do a revamp of the website, though I don't really know when that's going to happen. 
But in the meantime, if you are getting more serious about doing Lego creations or want to get your hands on certain kinds of minifigs and don't know how to operate this old and pretty confusing website, studs.me and Rob Lewis work together to create a website that will guide you through the Bricklink website. I think it's wonderful that people went through the trouble to actually help out new creators when they know that the system in place is pretty hard for newcomers to access. So on one hand, I think it is really great that there are more tools to help out custom creators or aspiring custom creators. But at the same time, if there is a website dedicated to helping people use another website, then that is definitely a sign that this system for ordering Legos could be a lot better. All right, that is a pretty good segue to move on to our custom creations segment of the episode. And this is where we talk about our favorite custom creations that we happen to see throughout the week. Our first build here is Rolling Bug by Vince Talos. It uses the wheels from the Hailfire droid, and they also seem to be somewhat splayed out in a similar fashion. But that seems to be the only similarity that this vehicle shares with anything else I've seen. It's a very unique design, a little bit wacky and strange, but I really like the use of the curved bricks around the cockpit. Here's a great custom build of the Bat Cave by Dan Glasher. And this is one awesome Bat Cave. And I love the use of the LED lighting. It's one of those large builds with a great amount of detail. And it's something that you could look at for a while. Not the first custom Bat Cave I've seen, but I think the bar for the best one has just been set a little bit higher. This build by Angelo S is a great use of force perspective. The portal leading into the nice green sunny world does not go nearly as deep as you might expect, seeing that those houses in the far distance are actually just one by ones. A good idea for a build and executed very well. I'm always a sucker for Lego builds that can actually trick you into thinking that the object isn't even made out of Lego. And this tape player by Nathan Wells is a perfect example of that. I like that the sleeve can actually open up and the tape itself even looks pretty good. But I think it's some of these little details that really get me. Those two inputs at the bottom with those gold rings around them just look incredibly accurate. And the last favorite build of the week is this one here, X-Wing Room by Tan KM. I don't believe that is an official micro fighter version of an X-Wing, but I love that the creator decided to make it into a bed. Lots of great details in this one. This is kind of the ultimate Star Wars fan's room. It's a very fun build and there's a ton going on in here, especially for it being such a small space. So that's it for this episode. If you want to learn anything more about what I've already mentioned in this episode, I've left links for all of the articles in the video description below, so you can always check those out. Remember to tune in same time next week for another LEGO Weekly News update, and if you enjoy our content, feel free to subscribe. We'll see you next time at Brick Vault.